Hi guys, so we're up on the mountain today. We're finally going to get around to putting our uh, heater in. Uh, we had to kind of dodge the snow a little bit here for the last couple of weeks. We've had some warm days here, so looks like a lot of it's melted down, but uh, there's still plenty of it here. And we're supposed to have some warm days for the next couple of days here that uh, probably will melt a lot of this off. It's breezy and uh, warm out here. Uh, it's already afternoon and we have a load of material here and Debbie's going to be cracking the whip here to get our siding put on. We're going to do some insulating. Uh, we got a piece of drywall under there for putting behind the furnace so today is furnace installation day. Thank goodness. So hopefully uh, we'll get that done and uh, we still got to run in and get a propane tank exchanged out so we got something to run it on um, it's still getting down below 30 at night but it's already up to 60 degrees today so it's been melting off already pretty well okay the generator fired up uh, first thing after setting all winter so we're gonna cut some notches out of our siding here so it clears the rafters and uh, get our siding put on there's going to be a vent going out through the side of this, so that's why we have to get it put up first. Okay, now I'm going to add a board up against the bottom of the wall here so that we got something to set the siding on until we get it tacked in place. previous video we built this uh, structure here that goes into the wall per the instruction so we're going to assemble that onto a stud and put the stud into the wall um, we put pocket screws in the top and the bottom of it to uh, hold mm -hmm. things and uh, I doubt they can see that but <laughs> anyway we'll get that put together
walks right in now. Wow. Like it was paid for it. <laughs> Okay, now we got to put a hole right in the middle of this for the ductwork that goes outside. Uh, it's a vented heater, so it brings air from the outside and it also exhausts to the outside, so we won't have any uh, vapors coming into here from the combustion process. Uh, I cut this piece of wood, I put a hole in the middle of it so it fits diagonally in here. And in theory, I should be able to drill right in that hole, and it should be right in the middle of where the opening needs to be. We need to put a uh, nine and a quarter inch hole in the wall, so I've got a wire at half of that. Uh, diameter or the radius of it and then we'll just put this screw into the hole that we just drilled and mark the hole. Okay, now I'm going to drill a few holes on here so we can get the saw blade through. Did that come out alongside the frame? Uh, it was actually hitting part of the wood. It's right on the edge. You're okay. 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 Hello. It's all right. We gotta cut another sheet. Yeah. Okay. And how is that getting attached? They're just stuffed just in there. Stuffed in there. Okay. And since Steve's tall, he gets the honor of stuffing it in there.
All right, we're about out of light today. We got our uh, vapor barrier put up in our uh, wall after putting the insulation up. And now we got our drywall tacked in place. Now we got to cut the inside hole for the exhaust. Then we'll be able to hang the heater on the wall. Well, we ran out of time last night. Uh, no more sunlight, and of course we didn't bring the solar equipment up this trip, so we didn't have uh, lights in here. So uh, we got the hole cut in the wall. We just taped the piece back in there, and uh, we spent the night with our buddy heater again, which really doesn't work up here too well. Um, it has running issues and uh, it also set off the CO meter last night. I'm not too happy about using that so it'll be good to get this furnace put up. Next we have to install the uh, shield on the inside here so we'll be getting to that. Okay, this shield's the next part that has to go in uh, on the wall inside and it said to use the provided hardware but these are some round head um, wood screws and my experience is that you're not going to have very good luck putting these things in they're they're easy to strip and I'm going to use some different hardware um, they I'm supposed to have two of these screws to install the cover, but they only gave me one, and it says to use four number three screws for uh, mounting the furnace to the wall, and I don't see any different screws in this lot, so it looks like they kind of failed us on providing the hardware, so be warned that you need to probably come up with your own hardware. hole drilled down at the bottom there for the gas line. We drilled a hole and pulled a wire through for the thermostat. Got our heat shield mounted on there so now we're ready to go ahead and put the furnace up there and uh, secure it to the wall. There's not a lot to hang on to on this thing since it's all sheet metal there's a lot of really sharp edges so you have to be super careful where you grab a hold of it. in. The two top screws are located in a place where you can't really get a tool on it to drive it in so we're just having to use a wrench and turn a hex head if we they had provided the screws they would have been a slotted round head screw and I think it would have been really difficult to have installed those 
and they more than likely would have stripped anyway since you wouldn't be able to keep the blade straight into it from the screwdriver so although these are better screws they are difficult to put in just because you can't reach them with anything other than a open end wrench maybe it'll go better now Okay, I need to mount our pipe to the wall so I got a clamp like this and I found a stud in the hardware items that's uh, got wood threads on one end and threads that match the clamp on the other so that'll hold it off from the wall and uh, keep everything from moving around unfortunately the clamp doesn't really fit where I need for it to go but it looks like it'll hold well enough in this position and it just barely clears the the valve so the valves functional and that'll hold the pipe in place so we'll get that installed next and I tighten two nuts together here on the stud so that uh, I'll be able to turn it so you just put two nuts on there and tighten them together with each other and then you'll be able to turn it with a wrench Okay, and finally we can install the gas line in here. Hook up the thermostat wires. quarters.
Okay, that's the mounting and plumbing and electrical part of it. This doesn't require any electricity. It has a thermal pile in it that uh, provides electricity for the valve in here. So when the pilot light's on, um, it provides the current necessary to switch this valve on and off. And so your uh, thermostat is merely a thermal switch that turns on and off to connect these two wires. And then the thermal pile provides electricity to open and close the valve. This furnace is made to run without any external power. Okay, now we have this shield tube that has to go into the opening from the outside. So this goes in with the notches going over some standoff tabs that are inside. Then you're supposed to trim this off flush with the exterior. Well, our wall only took or needed an inch removed and I was able to cut that off with the uh, with some tin snips so that went pretty well okay and then some mastic is provided with the uh, vent cap and that has to be applied around this outside edge cover the holes Okay. Just go all the way around it. This is in the, the package. It was separated with some paper, but they folded over the mastic on top of itself. So, of course, it's uh, securely glued together. There's no way to get it apart. Our installation is going to be a little easier since uh, we're just on a flat wall here. If you've got any kind of lap siding or anything, you're going to have to figure out spacers and things to end up sealing this all down. Using metal connector screws because the ones provided weren't very robust and this can just be run with a driver uh, hex head driver okay we're going to temporarily wire up our thermostat here um, we just uh, we just have a simple uh, type of a thermostat that just has a bimetal spring on it and a magnetic switch and so you put the two wires on it take this piece of cardboard out and mount it to the wall and it's pretty much ready to go
So we made us an off-grid paintbrush. Uh, we hunk a rope and got our soapy water here and we're gonna test all of our propane joints. So there's, there's a notch right here on the button that you have to push in and you hold that while you're lighting it. Um, you're supposed to press on this igniter. I removed this cover so I could get um, into where you would light it manually and you can see the spark in there um, but I was unable to light it with that igniter. But if I use a uh, lighter, um, it lights immediately. So I'm not sure what the problem is with the spark in there, but it's not getting to where it ignites anything normally. And turn it on, and it comes on. I'll have to put the, put the inspection door back on. So you can see the flame in there through the inspection window. You remove this wing nut right here, and this whole assembly comes off so you can get in there manually light it and I go down here and turn it to on and the burner kicked on and it's getting getting really hot in a hurry so looks like we can put the cover on it this is our temporary setup uh, just to test things out for today and uh, this is the self-switching regulator. You can see it shows green in there that uh, that it's getting propane from a full tank and you can switch this valve. Um, when you take it off, the, this uh, indicator will turn to red or when the tank goes empty, it'll turn to red. And then you know that tank's empty. It'll automatically switch over to the other tank. So if you have two tanks attached to this um, and one runs out in the middle of the night the other one will just automatically switch over and things keep going do have a bit of uh, heat loss out through the exhaust. It's not a very efficient machine. Uh, here we got the heater installed and we let it run for a little bit and there is a definite uh, odor coming off of it uh, which I imagine will happen for some time until it burns off whatever is making the, the smell but uh, it does seem to be functioning right now. I cycled the thermostat and that appears to be working so uh, we'll throw the cover on it and it looks like we're good to go we just got to find some screws because uh, they only gave us one and we need two What do we do with the tape measure now? Is it in here? Measured that wire for our hole and I lost it. <laughs> 